All right, I've had a lot of people ask me how to make ringtones with your MacBook and MacBook Pro, and I can show you how as long as you have a Bluetooth-ready cell phone. I have this song here, Hey There Delilah by the Plain White Tees. It's a good song. I'm going to go ahead and open up GarageBand so I can show you guys how to make the ringtone. What we're going to do is select New Music Project, and I'm going to go ahead and have you guys turn the tempo up to 240 beats per minute. Uh, this is because at that speed, um, when we get inside there, I'll kind of show you the the timing is set perfectly for our phones. Um, we're going to save it as Delilah. You can save it as whatever you want, whatever song you're making. Alright, first step, we need to go ahead and X out of this grand piano. We're not going to mess with any of this. And go ahead and select that track right there and click track, delete track, because we don't need to mess with it. Uh, go ahead and go down to the bottom uh, at your dock and select finder. Um, and find that song you had right here. Here's Halo Delilah. I'm going to click it and I'm going to drag it over here to the far left of the timeline. It's importing here into GarageBand now. Alright, and there it is, popped up. Okay, so most cell phone ringtones are about 30 to 40 seconds on average. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this icon right here. It opens up my editing options for the song. And I'm going to find the spot in the song I want to go ahead and start at. So let me kind of listen here for a second and get the right spot. Give me a second. Okay. So we're going to start it right about here. So this is right about where the uh, course starts. I'm going to start it right here. All right. Now what you need to do is get those crosshairs right about where you want it and click it and drag it to the very beginning of the song. We're going to go ahead and delete all that since we don't need that. So I'm going to hit cut. I'm going to drag the song back to the beginning of the timeline up here. Okay, and then I need to find the end of the song that I want as my ringtone. So like I said, I'm going to look somewhere around 30 seconds or so. Um, 30 seconds inside GarageBand with the tempo we have set is about probably 42 or 32 seconds on a 32 to 34 seconds on a cell phone so you're gonna look right around making a 28 to a 35 second song here in GarageBand alright and then once it is selected what I'm gonna have you guys do is here, let's see I'm gonna find the exact spot I want it that's where I want it and same thing I'm gonna drag the crosshairs I'm gonna go all the way to the end of the song and let's speed this up a little bit Alright, once you get to the end of the song, same thing, we're going to go edit and cut. That way it cuts out the end of the song that we don't need. So now we have a good 30 seconds or so of that song. Um, so you can kind of listen to it right there, you can preview it, make sure you got the right part of the song. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and check the end of it, make sure I cut it off at the right time. And that sounds good. So, I'll go ahead and stop that there. And then uh, when you're ready to export it, what you need to do is uh, go up to the very top, uh, the very top bar, and I need you to hit share, and you're going to hit export song to disc. All right, and from here you can name it whatever you want. I'll call it Delilah Ring. Well, no, let's see. I'll call it Hey There Delilah. Um. Delilah ringtone. Ring, Delilah ring. Alright. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Give it a second to convert and save. Alright, I'm going to minimize GarageBand to get that out of the way. And then now that the uh, ringtone is right here on the desktop, what you need to do is hit the Bluetooth symbol and click Send File. And I've already set up my phone uh, with this computer, so if you haven't set it up yet, you just hit that search button right down there. But I'm going to select Eric's Blade and hit send. And then on my cell phone, i got to accept it. Give me a second. Then as soon as you accept it on your cell phone, it should go ahead and start transferring for you. Alright, there it goes. as you can see it's 237 kilobytes per song so with that you're not going to be able to put as many songs on here um, if you have longer basically the shorter the song the more you can put on there 
Um, as soon as that's done, it is now on my phone, and that is how you create ringtones in Mac.